Okay, here's a quick recording on how to add someone to iStation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch iStation. So go up here to school logins. I bookmarked iStation, which I highly recommend because you'll use it a lot. I'm going to go to customer login. And hopefully you're using something like LastPass, which is this little extension program running over here which keeps up with all my usernames and passwords for me. You can find that in the Google Store. So you just click Login, of course, and you guys will have administrative rights. So you're going to come over here to Campus. We're going to find Greenleaf. And we're going to go, we're going to add a manager. So I'm going to click on Managers. And it's just going to be Add Remove and if it's if it's got an asterisk by it then you have to uh, include that but this is just a little wizard that pops up so I don't have to worry about employee ID number the person I'm adding is the counselor at Greenleaf which is Amy Nichols it's gonna automatically generate a username for her and so I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna click add and so she's been added, Amy Nichols added as a manager. So now she can run reports for um, her campus. So one person that I know um, no longer serves in that role is Jeanette Ariano. So since we're here, I'll just show you how to remove one. It's very simple. You just come over here and hit the remove button. And do you want to convert her to a teacher? or remove completely. Now she's already been converted to a teacher um, so I'm gonna go if I click remove completely it may it may remove her as a teacher because she's already in there this may be why I left her uh, originally so we'll probably just hit cancel in case she's got data with students this might have been a bad example to use um, but if you have a person that you're trying to remove as a manager you would just click managers and then you would click remove. Same with teachers as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and show you that. If I click on teacher and there's a teacher that I need to remove, well then we can just click add remove and then we can uh, same screen pops up and this is how we get rid of teachers. Likewise if we were going to add a teacher same deal right here. Okay. So pretty simple how to add and remove teachers, and I'll make sure you guys all have administrative passwords. Uh, so be looking for those in your email.